Developing this morning, a semi truck crashed off the Indiana toll road and got wedged between the east and westbound bridges. Eric Rung is near the accident scene with the latest. Eric? Well, good morning. It's really an incredible scene, and what's more incredible is that the driver just had some minor injuries here. Look behind me. You can see that the uh, cab of the semi did hit the water down here. Now, I just spoke with a fire official uh, a uh, short time ago, and uh, they told me that the driver climbed out of the cab and was in the water. And Phelan, if you can follow me right over here, he was uh, hanging on near this second pillar here. And since it was dark, Dark, firefighters said that it took them a while to actually see where the driver was. They had to search the cab. They searched some of the water around there, and then they finally were able to rescue that driver, bring him on shore here. Now, this is the scene from above where we're standing, that a video that we got from Skycam 9 uh, early this morning. You can see that the uh, truck is just wedged in between the east and westbound lanes there. Still don't know exactly what caused this accident or what why the driver uh, had to uh, move quickly to uh, move the truck there. We don't know what caused that accident. The other thing, though, is that there were no other cars on the road at the time, so no other vehicles were involved in this accident. UPS, that's uh, who owns the truck, says it's just thankful that its drivers are okay. The Indiana State Police, again, still aren't sure what led up to this crash um, as the investigation into that continues. Now, we did just hear from from fire officials that are down here at the scene. They told me uh, that the crane that they brought in, they are expecting to start lifting the semi out uh, in between those west and eastbound lanes here in about five minutes. So we are going to uh, obviously be out here. We'll have an update for you on our midday news. We're live in East Chicago. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.